Ham Wait, fucking radio. DJ stereotype. Back. Ham radio. Do you think this looks like a '90s hip hop DJ it shirt? It is a '90s, not but, but not DJ, DJ shirt. Not like DJ. that's like very. That's like Menace to Society. Yeah. Uh, what would a, uh, it's definitely a 90s tee what would, it, what, would a, for sure. what would a DJ shirt be like Remember that brand DJ Esco Esco DJ Esco DJ or DJ Esco No it's it's, it was E-S-C-O DJ logo No it's say E-S-C-O DJ yeah, the logo It was like the MLB You know what we're talking about right I think so It was an yeah. MLB logo <laughs> But in, it was like split in half But it was a DJ Okay but you know this. what's crazy I'm glad you like that Because if you Or that you know that If you try to Google it You won't find it Really? I tried to Google it. I was is trying it, to reference to someone else. Whoa! Is I that Googled a glitch, that a glitch DJ? in the system? Like uh, what's it called? And I can't believe you <laughs> think you might know about a DJ stereotype. How do you not? That know? was honestly, I have, my memory's bad, dude. <laughs> Bro, did you ever wear those uh, graffiti T-shirts from? Um, uh, Breakdown? No, no, no. Uh, from um, uh, Fresh Jive? Uh, from Pac, Miller. From Alpo- Pac Sun. No, pa- no Miller's yeah, Pac Outpost. Sun. Oh, Miller's Outpost. You, wait, is that what I'm talking about? Yeah. What you say? Or Anchor go, Blue? Anchor Blue. <laughs> I think they had these like gra- graffiti train shirts. I'm thing. sure they did. You know what else is, is rare, but it's probably a little before your time. Do you remember Pac Sun had an off brand called Breakdown that was like it was like a wannabe cross colors had like little graffiti oh, characters. I don't remember that. Okay, let's introduce the show. Great, great fashion intro. I'm down. Hey, motherfucking radio, we're back. Adam, who do we have today? Hood Rich. Yeah. Pablo. Yeah. Juan. Juan? Yeah. Why'd, you say, why'd you say it like that? You put Damn, a little Spanish tip That's to racist. it. You just got back from Mexico. Uh, I did get back oh, from Mexico. Sick. I have two bug bites. I'm uh, sleep deprived, and uh, it was did, fun, though. Did you party? I did. It was uh, the second show was a festival. It was for Antoine. He was DJing Antoine. for Antoine. Antoine. Everyone listen to Antoine. His mixtape just came out October 6th. Sunny. Sunnydale, Sunnyvale, Sunnyvale Gardens. Sunnyvale Gardens. <laughs> Sounds like the yes, hood. Yes, it's fire. Um, yeah, the second day we DJed a festival, and then afterwards we went to this random, uh, this like it was pot. It was like a three floor bar, and then uh, there's this DJ crew. They're like the Mexico Tech Life. They're super dope. Yeah, it's super tight. And then uh, there was these random weird rooms. Did you see my my Insta Snap thing? They're like playing Sublime and like whoa, I would uh, love to like, DJ. Yeah, that. it was super weird. Uh, so we were there, and then I had to fucking drive back. Well, I didn't drive back at five a.m. And then did you guys link with Speaks at all? No, he was supposed to, but it didn't work out. Shout out Speaks. Um, yeah, it was it was crazy. They were telling us about all the earthquake stories and shit, and like how they did what you said you would do. They would they just ran out, but then they were scared. The building in front of them started collapsing. So as I said, in a in a that won't work in downtown. Because when you're a kid, what they teach you it's go under the, the desk, under the desk or the the door. Okay, but the, the desk door isn't thing. a thing anymore. So now what? it's the door thing. Yeah. I wouldn't do either. I would just. Bolt for my stairs See, and get I, the fuck outside. I feel outside. like in downtown, you're better in the fucking door in the door thing. Mm. Because by all the, time, the all the big buildings are like a mile or two away. No, they're not full. You go, I guess, L.A. Cafe and all that stuff's not that tall. Those aren't big buildings. The big buildings. Well, think about it. Even a street over, they're so big. If they toppled, they would still hit your thing. Dude, I I'm, think you might be better off in your fucking door thing, dude. You know, in the words of Jay Z, because of hip hop, I'm slick like a gato. I'm slick like a cat, bro. Cats will, are slick. Fuck yeah. Cats yes. are mini bamalinis, dude. And I will definitely yeah. I will definitely <laughs> duck and dive. Is that how cats is that how cats uh-huh. walk? Uh-huh. Uh guys, uh make sure to comment on this little chat thing. If you got questions for Hoodrich, uh ask on here, ask us, ask uh your mom, ask your dad. Okay, cool, let's get into this. We're doing an intro. We did the intro. Done. That's next. What's True. next? Topics of, of the, the Week. week that was good we're like a t- game show host now okay first one today's topic of the week today that shit would not be tolerated any show he's been banned from that venue for life uh what, that is loyal we're talking about. Carner, and he is referencing uh loyal Carner just threw out someone for being sexist to the female support act yeah for yelling sexist remarks that's tight do you know what he said? What he yelled? I tried listening to the video and I couldn't really hear, but he definitely, yeah, I guess he was, uh, a guy was yelling sexist remarks during the uh, opening act. So when he came out before he even did any songs, he goes, hey, this guy, we need to get him out of here. Oh, that's he's, dope. He's like, this won't be tolerated. Do you remember, gro- I remember growing up, going to hip hop shows and I remember that was always like, a show us your tits. Like they would do that like mid song. Yeah. And I always felt bad, but I'm glad, uh, I don't know why it fucking took so long for people to stand well, up for that Well, you know shit, what I tweeted? Like, I, I quote tweeted it. This tweet, I quote tweeted, and I said, not all heroes wear capes. I hope that the uh, artists in our scene follow suit. It's true. Um, I feel like Peep's pretty good with that stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah, Peep. Won't, you talking about Peep? Yeah, little Peep. Yeah, because I know that he won't do... <laughs> oh, the little one. Yeah, the little one. The little I know one. that... Um, big Peep. I know that little Peep 
won't even do shows with certain artists if he feels that they're, they're um, homophobic or sexist. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Shouts out all the people I uh, mean, doing hey, positive shit. Hey, on everything, we do the same thing. It's true. We won't book. Um, man, did you see? I don't want to like call out names right now, but did you see who affiliated with Peep got called out? Yep. Fuck. Uh, yeah. I guess uh, did uh, Wickaface talked about us? I saw someone. I Wicked couldn't took find a stance, the, I couldn't, Fish Nark took a stand. Really? Dove took a stand. What did they say? I didn't read. I couldn't find what their they response said, were. They said, fuck rape culture. We don't fuck with this. And um, that's what Fish Shark said. And then Wicca said, I second this. And then Dove said, yeah, I don't even know the dude. Fuck him. Wow. That's dope. Yeah. That's good. I was wondering what everyone else was going to say in the crew because I feel like I wonder what Peep's going to say because remember they're like little buddies, buddies they moved yeah. to Europe together for a minute it's weird um, yeah guys don't fucking don't rape people that's really Ex- bad especially <laughs> in, in this situation that he's talking about particularly she's under eight yeah it's more like using your platform to um, manipulate girls into sex and like if you are an artist and you do have a platform and, and you have people that are like looking up to you don't use that to take advantage of people I agree. Um, all right. Next topic, not as uh, heavy. Uh, <laughs> Schoolboy Q responds to people hating on him for listening to Little Pub. I just want to say, oh, wait, back to the thing. Uh, wait, back, backtrack real quick. Did Nelly got this? charged with um, a rape thing. Uh, what was, do, do we know what exactly happened? That's another one. No? I, I heard they, uh, they were trying to get money out of him. Oh really? That so a lot of times, like girls, like well, not a lot of times, but sometimes yeah. it happens where they manipulate the situation. Yeah, and you know they say maybe it might be consensual, it may not. It's kind of sketchy, or maybe yeah. someone's drunk and yeah. someone's not. You know. Well, that's another thing that I tweeted the other day is that as far as the drunk thing goes, even if a girl, because at emo night, you just see what female friend of mine was like all up on me. Uh, she was all up on everybody and she was really annoying and right. I had to turn my back at one point and she looked at me and she goes, my friends got my back. I, and she like yelled at me and I went, eh, and I just like, well, turned. that's the thing like, when she was like all up on me and I was like, oh, that could be nice. But I was like, she's drunk. And so even though she's the one making the moves, that's not consent because she's that drunk. I and I was thinking, I was, looking at other people, I, was looking at, I was looking at other people hooking up and I was thinking the same thing. Even if you've been drinking, if you're sober enough to acknowledge to be like, oh, this girl's fucked up, then you're, then you're too sober to um, hook up with her. Yeah. I even agree. if you have a few drinks. I've always, I've if never, like if someone is just at that level, I'm always like, uh, even if you've been drinking, tomorrow, even like, if you've been drinking, if you could identify, like, oh, she's fucked up. Yeah. That means you're, even if you're drunk, you're still sober enough to know that. Yeah. Oh, and you know what's interesting about how Nelly used to house, you know, she he, she might be trying to get escorted. Extorted. That happened to Connor Ober, so bright eyes. Oh, yeah. And she ended up, you know, coming out and saying that, you know, she made up the story on XO Jane. And then he got a big settlement from it. You know what he did? What? Donated he, to charity, exactly to, awesome. to to women's rights or to um uh, uh victims of sexual. What abuse. did she say? She said she was just. She trying. wrote a whole story in X Jane XO about it and then just said it wasn't true. Wow. I mean, it, you know, fucked up his life, life like yeah. a minute. Um. All right. Well, but that's what he, that's what he, that's, what he, that's what you should do though. He won all that money and then donated it back into the cause. Yeah. Oh, that's a great Connor like, Overs, that's man. That's a great thing. Um, okay, cool. Uh, let's go back to the schoolboy Q response to people hating on him and listening to Little Pump. I was actually super pumped. What, no pun intended. I Damn. was super pumped. Wait, were you super pumped or were you a little pump? No, I was super pumped. You weren't a little pump. I was pump? super pumped about the Little Pump reference. Because uh, I mean, I feel like we're in the same vein where everyone, oh yeah, you know, like we listen to like you know kids that are like super young, and it's kind of you know. I get like at work, I'll play some shit and people are like, what the fuck are you listening to? And I'll be Turn like, Doug, this is, this is the new new. And, uh, so when he said that, I thought that was like really dope. Cause I feel like even if you're like the real artists understand that there, there's like a new culture that's always being breeded and then to deny new culture is like not progressive for the music. You know what I mean? Right. And not just when it comes to new, like young rap music. So like he said, I like how he said, I am born like you. I don't listen to one style of music. Yeah. Um, and that's how I feel too. And it's like I could be someone that throws hip hop shows or throws like young young rap shows or trap shows, and I could listen to fucking indie band or an emo band because it's not about one style of music. And also, I'm also fucking hip hop head who I fucking Surprise, listen to Wu Tang or whatever the fuck you know yeah. hip hop type shit. But also, I will listen to maybe not a little pump, but something similar. Yeah, <laughs> I played Little Pump in Mexico, and Turn I'm gonna up. tell you those fucking kids they love Little Pump and they love ASAP, of course. Little Pump is huge. Did you see um, by my bookstore? I go to uh, Skylight Books. Shout out Los Feliz. Uh, there's like posters for it. Oh really? You know who has you know who has benches in Highland Park? Who? XXX Tianxian, whatever. Been, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, cool. But that's, that's crazy how big. Um, under, like uh, not just little pump. But is this a segue? Are you doing a segue right now? Uh, not intentionally, but how big <laughs> underground SoundCloud rap is getting? Well, on fucking that, billboards, yeah. uh, benches, fucking <laughs> posters. Well, on. Little Yachty has a Nautica collab. Like that's crazy. Like that's, that's fucking fresh. Nautica, dude. That's dope. Smart move. Um, but segue, segue, se- segue alert. Trippy man. Uh, speaking of uh, like SoundCloud underground rappers getting clout with uh, the bigger the bigger guys, Travis Scott brought out Smoke Perp to perform Fingers Blue at what festival? Rise Festival. Swat. And then he signed him to Cactus Jack Records, which I believe Ooh. is his label. Did you see him tweeting back and forth? No. Nah, what did the conversation? Oh, I sound think like? that maybe Smoke Perp posted Instagram story videos of them like FaceTiming. And how he's he, timing so weird. He's like gonna to pick that. up his his chain from him. Swat. Oh really? He's like, yeah, this cactus what is, chain from what him. What is the cactus uh, chain? I don't know, like? but I'm assuming it's just a nice style cactus. Yeah, a little pump seemed pretty sta- pretty stoked. Why is it called Cactus Jack? If anybody knows why it's called Cactus Jack, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, not a very cool name. <laughs> I no, feel like it sounds like a I, Western. It might be movie. on some wrestling shit because that's what uh, sounds like a Western. Mankind, that's his original uh, Cactus Jack. I don't know but wrestling, wrestling. Well, a lot of rappers Ooh. are into wrestling. Yeah. Who? Oh, he's rodeo. from Texas. Uh, he's from Houston. Texas. I feel Cactus like you could Jack. do like a cool Western name and not have it be like Cactus Jack Records. <laughs> Billy the Kids. <laughs> no, Billy. <that's> not good <laughs> either. <laughs> Travis, if you're listening, change your fucking label to <laughs> Billy the Kid Records. Fucking okay, Cactus <laughs> Jack. Fuck out of here. Actually, isn't Cactus Jack like a movie series? I don't. Fucking a series know. of movies. I believe it is. And it's uh, the not- fact that we have to figure out what that means already a bad name. So I want to know what happened to Alamo Records, because he was one of the first signees, or Wi-Fi's funeral was, and then remember they signed him yeah, at yeah. our South by show. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I don't know. Maybe they just bought him out. They okay. just they're like, eh, you know what? We'll swoop. Well, um, Miko mentioned that uh, maybe it's a distribution and a, and a label thing. That's true. I don't know. Um, it's like labels and labels and labels, because now Alamo is. You said ten seventeen. Ten seventeen. I feel like 1017 has been around and, and bigger. Yeah, it doesn't so. matter if they've been around. I think just because Alamo's Todd Malkovich, who's like, you know. Yeah. Oh, wait. Speaking of this, this is another topic. Uh, you see who's suing uh, Trippy Red's label? Who? Tech Nine. Why? Because his. They're, huh? They were together at the Spotify Trippy Red and uh, Tech Nine? Yeah, he's suing him because his label's called Strange Something and then uh, Tech Nine's called Strange Entertainment. Yeah, and it was. I remember when I first looked, I was watching when he had that beef with Six Nine. I was like, he was talking, whatever, and he goes, "Yeah, I'm signed to Strange, whatever, blah blah." And I said, "Tech Nine signed Trippy Red." I was like, "Damn, that's crazy." And I looked it up, and I found out it was like some the I forgot the owner or the, some owner of some label's son runs it, but it's the same like kind of name. Crazy. So, do you know who else just got signed? Who? Xavier Wolf. Really? To Atlantic Records. Yeah. Yo, shouts out Xavier. That's pretty wild. He fucking deserves that. That's tight. Yeah. It must have been a good deal because he's always talking about he don't need to do it. Yeah. I don't think right. I've seen it on, online, but uh, I know that that happened. Yo, great. You just you probably just um, really? made him lose the deal, dude. <laughs> Xavier. <laughs> you can, you can, uh, Blame it on Josh him. from Cole 45. Ooh. Speaking of Cole 45, nice. Halloween, man. Who we have in Adam? Adam. Project Pat and Little Ugly Man. Mm. That shit's gonna be wild. Uh, and K- and Kate Ma, Five Finger Posse, Trip Jones. It's gonna be great, Joe. Joe, great Joe. It's gonna be a great, great Joe. Show. Yeah. Great, great Joe. Great, great cup of Joe. All right, I think that's all the topics we're gonna touch on. Um, oh wait, you know what someone told me a few weeks ago? What? They said, um, maybe even a month or two ago. I forget who it was. They go, yeah, man. Um, Smoke Perps, one Travis Scott feature away from like becoming a big star. Oh wow. And that's. I forget who was obviously someone that was in the know. Yeah. It was like a kid. It was like, you know, someone much younger than me. But crazy, they were right. But you know who was right about Smoke Perp from the beginning? And Little Pump? Motherfucking Ned Arb, dude. It's true. We did Smoke Perp's first show ever with All Deaf Digital? Yeah? Yeah, that was. No? Uh, okay, yeah. maybe we did by ourselves. <laughs> 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 he looked hella right. young, like uh, he had like no colored hair and like no face short tattoos. Dress, yeah. Short dress, short <laughs> like mid mid growth out. It was so funny. True. Uh, all right, we're gonna go to break and then uh, we're gonna come back. Yeah, ham motherfucking radio. Yeah, we back with Hood Rich Pablo Juan. Yeah, yeah. hello, hello, check check. 
Thanks for doing this, man. Much appreciated. Make sure to talk closer to the mic, though. Appreciate y'all. What yeah. brand is that shirt? That shit's hard. It's Gucci right here. Is Ooh. it? Yeah, Damn, sure. that's really. I've never dope. seen a Gucci uh, sh- shirt like that. That's hard. Yeah, I try to get. You know, I'm it to looks like some vintage '70s type yeah. swag. That's why I got it though. I ain't get it because it was Gucci. You know what I'm saying? That collar though, that shit, the little swag. ruffle it's thing, so that shit's hard. Yeah, I like the yeah. yeah. Gucci Ooh. doing what they're doing with that new collar. That's how they make the new collar now. <laughs> Do and you, then you, also for your Gucci bag, did you, did you put on the UFO patch or is that already part of it too? No, it came like this. Ooh. Really? Are Damn, you are Gucci's you a believer? Like it's a collab of all the trends they just made, huh? Are you a believer? Do you think there's aliens out there? Nah. Yeah, huh? it probably is. I'm yeah. an alien. It's definitely alien. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking alien. Tight. That's dope too. Is that a custom cup? What's that? I just got this from Famous De- This is the Dexter robot. Oh, Dexter! Hilarious. Hell yeah. Dexter. <laughs> Hell yeah! How you doing, man? How was your day like? It's cool. I'm in LA kicking it, you know. Are you just working? Flowers. Yeah, just working, kicking it. Vacation too. Anytime I'm in LA, I'm working, but it's also a vacay. You know what I'm saying? Pay K. Yeah. You, do, you, do, you don't think you're going to move to LA ever? Mm, I might have a house out here, but I don't think I'm just going to steadily be in LA just enjoying the weather and all that. I think I'm I'm used to I like the Atlanta hustle and like how we stay on our feet, so I'm going to stay out there. Feel it. Um, so is Gucci your, your favorite your favorite brand? Your favorite nah, brand? definitely not. What I is it? Have, I don't have a favorite. You have a favorite? It's just like cool clothes. You pretty up on fashion. I uh, what was that one interview you said you were one of the first people to wear uh skinny sweats. Skinny sweats. <laughs> was I I think I had I I used to wear like some Zara. We used to like Atlanta. Yeah. It's a couple of us though, like people we, you know what I'm saying? We started off like it's not really about skinny sweats. It's about being different. No, yeah. Nobody had them sweats at that point. So you was trying to be different till everybody did it. Then you got to do something else. What's I mean? what's the next wave? I was about to ask that. The no, I can't tell you. It Damn. Be next wave. <laughs> you just, you just, you just look at his Instagram photos in a month. You know? <laughs> yeah. um, no, I always try to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get stuck on nothing. I, I rock whatever's cool. So it ain't really a wave. It's just... You know what I'm saying right. I mean, because even you your Gucci shirt right now, even though, like wearing Gucci might be popular right now, like you don't see people wearing that kind of Gucci shirt. I thought that was just a vintage shit. I was like, oh, shit. this one costs a little bit more. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's smart. That's funny. Um, so drugs three. Um, yeah, that's Design, designer drugs at that. You know what I'm saying? Designer drugs. That's all. That's a lot of features. Was it hard to get that many people like on on an album, or just because you have a good repertoire with them, it was just kind of easier to like get them featured? Um, I ain't gonna say easy or hard. It's just like a vibe and catching people at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So everybody working, and the reason you think it's good features because all them folks working. So it was. It, I ain't gonna say it was hard to get. It just like when I when I, when we around, we vibe it out. It happened. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I just happen to be around them folks. You know what I'm saying I don't know. Yeah, Design draw always got shit like that on the. Yeah. To me, it's always like Hoodwood Master Sensei, all them like albums I did on my own with a producer. Like just one producer just to show that I can just go work, put me in the corner, I can work. But Design Drugs always been a lot of collabs, you know what I mean? Right, right. Since the first one. That's dope that you fucking with uh, just one producer on albums. What what do you like about that? Is it just to keep a constant sound? No, it's really proving something. Like every time I think I can't do something, I just do it. Like Danny Wolf beats always was hard to get on for me at first, so I just kept like jigging at him and kept trying. You know what I mean? And Brodinski. Yeah, we got a whole album on the way. You know what I mean? Yeah, because those crazy. those aren't easy. Those beats are the out. hardest beats <laughs> yeah. in the world. Man. Yeah, Brodinski is a beast. He comes from like the techno, you know, weirdo French techno world. Them beats are so hard, like because when you put them on, they go off the rip like. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. What's but the vibe? Are they, are they like- he low key has like an obsession with Atlanta rappers. Yeah. <laughs> He's like all about a but he, yeah. I don't know. What's it like with him in the studio? Is he just chain smoking the whole time? I feel like he smokes a lot of cigarettes. Uh, I don't know. He's a European. He's pretty nice. <laughs> uh, uh, all people from overseas are pretty nice, though. He's a nice, cool guy. Um, in We Don't Love Him, you said that you wanted to fuck a Kardashian. Hey. Is there a specific one that you were thinking of? Or we, just, we can't do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know what I'm just, just right overall. now, due to the fact all of them like, yeah, all of them got something going on with my family, <laughs> my true. extended cousins. So we yeah, know, you know what I'm saying. But a card when I say Kardashian, it ain't really just like 
I'm talking about they family. I'm talking about like the style of girl. We call them Kardashians. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'd be working the look alike. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they're out there, especially That's out here cold. in LA, man. Yeah. For just, sure. Just go towards Beverly Hills. Um, early on with collabs, though, because your first shit, you, like, you had collab with uh, P uh, on a Pee Wee track, like 2014. How did you already have like a, a relationship with Pee Wee or Thug and all them back then? We, shit, I mean, we all came up in an environment that was got them not meant for us to come up in. And you know what I'm saying? When you get like six, seven people that ain't meant to come up, and they all get to thinking and working. It just, I mean, they, how we come up with shit. But I already like, I knew them from just the struggle and trying to make it anyway, oh. the regular street. So when we start doing music and everybody getting their flavor, you know, it's. You know what I mean? Like, it's a natural. Like, anybody who real gonna, f like, even if you made it, like, and you better than the biggest artist ever, like, if you know somebody, you just gonna feel like it don't make you real to just leave them all the way behind, especially if they working, so. Right. And just be like, somebody see me working, I don't think they just work with me because I'm a charity case or because they know me. It's also the hard work, but that right. add to it, like, because they know you, so. So did you first start rapping in, in 2014 or are you, or are you rapping before that? I ain't gonna lie I don't, I don't remember rapping too long I dipped and dabbed and rapped though I ain't gonna lie It's just I wasn't, I ain't like myself at first And I don't That's how I feel Like when I ain't like myself I was like fuck it. I'm going I'm going back on the corner This ain't me I can't do it But I was being honest I don't think you would've liked that That Pablo either So I had to go put it back in the pot And I mean come back out and I, and I read that you said, um, I didn't remember this, I heard that you said, um, so with rap, you felt like you had to leave the street completely behind and then put both feet into the rap shit. Do you don't think it's possible to have one foot in rap and one foot in the street? Hey, I think it's highly possible to do whatever you want. Right. But <laughs> but for you, you think you need to like be 100% focused? No, it was, it was, that's just a choice that I made. When I say that, um talking to folks that's from where I'm from, come letting you know. I tell people where I'm from all the time, they be like, bro, you this and that. I'm like, bro, I'm still working, but in order for me to work and concentrate the way I need to, it gotta be all wrapped. Like, I don't wanna, that's an easy excuse to me. Like, let me just go make some cover dollar. So instead of that, fuck it, I'm gonna challenge myself. This the only way I'm gonna be able to eat. Like the only way, you know what I'm saying? Just like the trap, the only way you can eat if you grind, so it's, it's we use the same like method and just different game. You know what I mean, and it's definitely working out for you. Yeah, I feel like I mean I kind of feel like whatever I ever put my heart into, I get a little bit of something out of. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's I just wanted to talk on the South Dark uh, South Park T flip. You know the little Kenny the orange hood shit like that shit's <laughs> super hard. Uh, are Let me do get you get y'all some of them? Oh, they loan yes. Them, they loan the money, power, spit, collab shirts. Oh, that shit's hard. Do you fuck? Do you fuck with like cartoons or TV or anything like that? Nah. Nah, just strictly music. I mean, not that. I just ain't too big. Like, it's so much going on and to accomplish that. Yeah. I don't never catch myself in front of TV just watching. It. It's true. Ever. We caught up on a show. I can't and even tell you. Like five hours. I later. watch Power though. Okay. Um, I read that I stopped whatever I'm doing they my buddy. They were, Come on boy Hold on I gotta catch up I read that uh, You don't watch a lot of TV But you do read Yeah What kind of stuff You like to read I mean I read Natural books And magazines But Like mostly I'm good at reading people I ain't gonna lie That's right. what I read I read people I'm good at Like a judge of character So I just I just go off of that And then like I ain't like my life so hands on every day. It's not even about reading or, or or watching TV. I really live life every day. Like I got issues. I got shit I'm trying to accomplish. I got family. I got friends. So I'm living life and just putting my life in the raps. When I do, like I don't even rap a lot. I might go to the studio whenever I go and just make four hard songs. You know what I'm saying like instead of just sitting there all day with beats and just burning out. Just let it build up, go right in. You know what I mean? Right, right. Dope. Speaking of of, of reading, um, I just realized I left my book and I left my. I brought a book. I left it in, in, in the, the back. In the bathroom. By the way, y'all should read that. You know what I'm saying? Gucci Man autobiography. Yeah. Oh, is it? I haven't. I haven't heard read it yet. Everyone's talking good? about it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Good book. It's a good book. I mean, it's Gucci. He has a crazy ass life. Yeah, like, he's <laughs> saying, like, it's yeah. a good story. 
I'm Damn. excited. I'm gonna probably get that this weekend. Um, oh. you tweeted that I love my fans with the passion. Y'all make me who I am. Uh, so at like what point did you start realizing that you have fans and this was working? Shit, when they talk to you, like you know what I'm saying. It, I think like that some of the confidence is gonna come from the fans. You know what I mean? So you can't just can't leave them behind because the reason you think you the shit because they told you the shit. So mm-hmm. it's just what it is. Like I feel like before they told me, before I. I I'm gonna let you like I can't buy I can't judge myself. I ain't I don't think I can win like that. So in in the rap game, you throw yourself out there for judgment. It's a hundred it's five hundred rappers. We don't have to listen to you. you know what I mean, so when people say, Yeah, we like what you're doing, it just keep me going. Keep me motivated, to, you know what I'm saying, trying to do better. Cause once you like me, I'm like, damn, I know how fair people dislike something too. Or say, Oh, he ain't doing that. So it's you know what I'm saying it's a little obligation just to stay on your toe. Yeah, true. I read that you said uh, you're kind of you're trying to take a different approach to DD3, where you're trying to do songs like songs for the hood, songs for the ladies. Like you're trying to yeah. show a wider range. Yeah, I was just yeah, gonna for ask sure. that. It's that. not fair. You know what I'm saying it ain't fair that a young lady can't listen to Pablo or <laughs> he got she got something she can relate to from. I just feel like it's unfair. So, in songs like I Just Want to Know, because that's like a very love song, is that like, no? Play it at your wedding, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure. So, do you got to switch up your mindset? Because, I mean, no. Is it just. It's how I feel for real. Yeah. I'm I'm still like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes to girls, I'm a teddy bear. So, (laughs) that's just, that's regular. I felt like that one, like, I turn it up in the car and it's, I don't care if it's four dudes. Like, that's how I feel. I don't care nothing. Like, do you feel like it's hard to like connect with the girls or just like date because your life's so busy and shit? Like, does that ever interfere? When you're a rapper, they definitely stereotype you. Yeah, right, right off bat, they're like, uh. Yeah, you're a rapper. I can't mess with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, dang, so I ain't no person, person. I'm just like a rapper. <laughs> but yeah, they. I mean, it's cool though. You gonna have some people like you more because you're a rapper, I guess. You ever try to get? Are you into like long term relationships, or you kind of just? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm with I'm with whatever the vibe is. Anybody like don't nobody wanna just be like going through a hundred, two hundred, three thousand girl. If I can find one they gonna do what three thousand gonna do, you need to sit your head right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see I think I feel like that comes with age. Cause I think like when you're like these young bucks are like nineteen, whatever, they're thinking that they think they just wanna run through all these girls. But as you get older, it's like man, if you I feel like if you can find Hell one girl no. That can handle that for you. Ain't really age, cause it's you might try you might try that when you young. You might feel like yeah, I'm just gonna, and then later on be like, you know what? She ain't right. Cause I just sat there and did right. You ain't right, bro. I could have been doing what I was doing. Yeah. You ain't right. So now, so I feel like I don't know. You just got it's experience. Right. I know some folks that's young age think it's time to get married. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Um, at one point in your life, you worked at Phillips Arena. For a couple of days in my life. <laughs> Is there? Would you? What? What's the worst job that you think you had before you started? Uh, I ain't really had no job, and I don't really re- remember no job parts of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying I remember like what I remember is probably shouldn't even be on the interview so <laughs> I, even when I say I quit the job I don't even want to tell people that cause I don't, I don't want you to try to be like me like right. go work bro everybody got a different grind you know what I'm saying like what I like what I've been through I don't know if everybody can you know what I'm saying I done been through some shit though like don't just think kind work it's all cake and ice cream that ain't what's going on like you know what I'm saying we got a question from the thing. Uh, Alex Dominguez asked, uh, "Any new work with any rappers coming up?" Yeah, for sure. Like who? Uh, I got some. I'm a. I'm a, I'm a me and Young Thug got some. Ooh, oh, dope. On. I ain't worked on with him before. I know I've been wanting to work with him. Just be busy. Right, right. But yeah, definitely work. I I got some already, but like how we rap, it's gonna be five on before we pick one. Yeah. <laughs> So how did uh, getting signed to 1017 happen? How'd that come about? I guess I was like, Gucci smart, bro. He just, he's smart. I mean, he a young A&R, so he, he peeping it. He, he peeping it same time, the labels and everybody else. It's just, um, I guess, 
when it comes to 1017, like, I don't know, he more relatable to when it comes to me signing the label. I probably would have never signed because I don't know if I could relate to you or understand you or if you understand me. So doing it through Goo Out probably made it a little easy just to, you know what I mean? Right. And he's like the ultimate A&R because if you think about anybody, especially from Atlanta, that's like Ego, blown up, it's all it's all through Gucci. Any, and that's why like you have such a promising career in front of you, bro, because like anyone that Gucci like co-signs, what happens? Young Thug, Migos. Um, I was doing a lot before Gucci co-signed. True, yeah. true, but true. I feel like Gucci just good at like knowing what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So he knows what's going on. And Gucci also the GOAT now. Yeah. You know, like So he know what's going on and he, he doing it too. So he can kind of feel who lazy, who really working. He know if you lazy, like, you know what I'm saying? He know yeah. if, you got the, if you got the people or not, he see what's going on. And now, it ain't that many people independent. You gotta think about it. A lot of people are already gone on where they gonna go. So he like shit. It was good care with me, cause I would, it's a lot of labels that would come. I actually told some of them, like they're like, who you sign with? I was like, I might fuck with Goo Up, cause he just real. It ain't even about the money and nothing like that. Just I think they, I think they snuck them on me too when I said that they might have did. I don't know. Yeah. It'd be like that. You know what I'm saying? How did he did he reach did he like call you or was it like a Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. Nah, he called me through C note though. He told C note, my boy C note. Yeah. Uh, uh, honorable C note. The honorable. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's tight. I wish I could get a phone call from Gucci. <laughs> I'd hit record right Has away. Gucci like since signing with him, did he like <clears> if he like gave you like any any little a little knowledge or taught you anything? Man, I mean I think it ain't about it, of course for sure. I think it's about like you can just go like I'm I eat knowledge up like it's scat like you know what I'm saying like I eat knowledge up that what I do I, I look at them and, and all the good things folk doing it ain't just go up it might be somebody I ain't signed to I can see good you doing so I can get motivated and go toward that direction but go up you can just kind of look at what he doing he came from nothing where he at how he cleaned his life up like you just use him as motivation he ain't even gotta really. He ain't got to sit you down and tell you that for you to see that. Right. Uh, That's tight. Um, all right. So then you're playing Hitway soon, right? That uh, At Belasco's? Tonight. Oh, yeah, tonight. Oh, that's tonight. Yeah, oh, tonight. shit. Dex. Dex. And, you know what I mean? That's tight. You going up. Have you played Belasco's before? Nah. It's like a dope building, right? Like, it's yeah. like very. It's, dope. it's right over here. Yeah. I walked past it on the way here, to be honest. Cause I walked from my house. Oh, is that close? Yeah. yeah. For sure. Well, I don't know if you, we probably don't want to walk it, but I mean, it's not nah. far. <laughs> um, I read that you were saying, so what kind of rap did you grow up listening to? Like, what were you into? I don't really think I, I ain't too big at just picking no type of nothing. I just like a little bit of everything. I like um, I like the new edition. I like the whole bunch of stuff. I like the, the old go up. I used to listen to El Dorado Red before he got locked up. You know what I mean? Like right, right. I just listen to all whatever I picked that I liked that was genuine. It, it was a different story. It might have been a different story, you know what I mean? But I felt like I wanted to follow that story, so I just listened to it. But I don't think no specific genre or person where I just was following them or die hard fan of Right, right. And cool. I, uh, oh, I was gonna say we got a call from Compton. Yo, how's it going? You on ham radio. What a do. What's up, huh? Just called in to tell my nigga Hood Rich, you got the hardest shit out right now. My boy Redback put me on way back. Shit yeah, yeah. Insane, Shout man. out to my boy for putting you on that, man. Design Drugs 3, man. Put me on that. It was that. Got me doing karate. Money like I'm an Illuminati. Oh, you. my God. Nah, for sure. We in LA tonight, man. Need you to come out. We at um, Belasco. How you pronounce it? Belasco's, yeah. Yeah, we at Belasco's tonight, man. I need you to come, word come, with the, come, the little paper deck shit. Yeah, yeah, we going up. I need you to come fuck with me. Um, we in there like swimwear, boy. Keep All doing right, your shit. That, boy. Appreciate the love, bro. All the uh, right. money, power, respect, nigga. Yeah, what up? All day. Dope. Thanks for calling in, man. Much appreciated. Um, were read, you gonna finish I, your? Course? I read that you graduated high school early. Yeah. How would you do that? Like you like 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 you like skip a grade? Nah, I ain't skip. It was block schedules where I just didn't do nothing but. Math, reading, like you know, we only it's it sounds like it's 
it sounds like it's it's probably smart, but it's just me scamming how I scam. <laughs> it was like I just did all the classes I had to do. I ain't had no extra curriculum, no arts. No none, just all give me everything I need to finish and got out of there. Did it come easy to you, like to just get the schoolwork done? Because for some people that's just hard. Hard. Schoolwork ain't hard. Like I'm a fast learner. Schoolwork definitely wasn't hard. How old were you when you graduated? Like sixteen and shit. Nah, hell no. Nah. I was just got them regular age, probably like seventeen. Right. I only graduated like a semester early. Oh word. You know what I mean? It's like, it, it's still cool because why everybody in school you can do. <laughs> but in the minute everybody out of school and the bill get to come and on, none of that shit matter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I saw you retweet a video of these kids. They look super young, like five, and they were like dancing to your music video. For real? Yeah. That shit look crazy. Shout what out. Have you ever, what's like, the? have you ever interacted with like a really young fan like at a show and it's just like trippy? What's the youngest nah, fan? I ain't had no, I ain't had no six year olds at yeah. the show. <laughs> well, not at a show, but like <laughs> walking around and some shit and they're like, oh shit, who rich? Yeah, the young ones, I don't think they too much pick up on your, your face like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They might, they might rock with your music more than just knowing. I don't think they follow you on Instagram like an average teenager or nothing. Right, right. So they just, the young people, they like music. But they do watch them videos. Now, if they don't watch their video a couple times, they might call you out. Yeah. They might, <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? How important is social media for you? For me? Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's that important for me. I just, I'm, I'm a part of it. I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm happy to be a part of it. It's a network. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't seem like super, like some people are like all up on their Twitter all the time. You don't seem like you care too much about it. It's like business for you. Yeah. No, I'm definitely more in the real life than to social life. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in real life. You know what I'm saying? Well, you got to really meet somebody. Instagram, cool though. You can't be mad at them because it's easier or it's a different game. You know what right, I mean? yeah. You know how to adjust. But I just, like some of these folk, like real, real young, like these folks ain't seen nothing but Instagram. You know yeah, what I'm true. Yeah, that's crazy. There's just some kids that have just like but always. They, some of them use it to their advantage, and it'd it be good though, like that. You know what I'm saying? I used to rap. It done made somebody, somebody family rich. They done fed yeah. somebody else. So <laughs> no, for real, man. You just gotta use it to your advantage. You know what I mean. Um. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of rappers too that like pop off as meme, like meme guys, and like then they just like, and, and then they transfer over to rap because they already got a following and shit. That's pretty smart. Like yeah. turning that following into a, a fucking product of some sort, you know? For sure, it's yeah. a business. Yeah, it is a business. Uh. Yeah. So what you got coming up? I know you work very often after projects. Um. Uh, everything I ain't gonna stop. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm new generation. Go cool. up. I'm gonna keep driving stuff. So. Hey. There you go. So he, you would say he's definitely your biggest influence. Definitely one of them for sure. Go up is definitely a goat. You know what I'm saying, and coming where he came from and how he came from, where I came from, he's definitely an inspiration. I just ain't gonna act like I, I mean, ain't gonna act like I just. That's the only thing I use, but he's a big and one of them for sure. I think it ain't just me though. Like, like, like everybody who rap or in like they gonna show him their respect. Like. Yeah. True. You're inspiration to get down. You know what I'm saying? Stay on, stay on your toe. No matter what you go through, get back, you can bounce back, whatever. Whatever you can use it for. You know what I mean? If you had a MySpace top eight, I'm assuming Guap would be on there. Who else would be on there? MySpace never had it. Oh, they had the, they had the top eight, no, he, man. He never had MySpace. Oh, you never had even, MySpace? I don't Dang. even know what that is. He doesn't know what that is. That's crazy. That's hilarious. Uh, MySpace is tight. It was MySpace was tight. Um, is there anything that you want to push before we uh, kind of wrap it up? You can follow me on Instagram, hoodrich underscore Pablo1. Twitter, hoodrich underscore Pablo. The Hitway show Pablo. tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Hitway. Pull up. You know what I mean? After party. We got a mansion party. Ooh. You going to have to DM somebody. We can <laughs> let you know who. Who do they got to DM? It's so secret you can't you don't even know you DM yet. So if you're in the know, you probably uh well, no if not, just go to the show. And then follow his gram for some good, future fashion. Good time. Yeah, um, yeah follow me right I'm now, gonna try so. to find that shirt online. I'm gonna be like No, nah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh um, and major respect. Yeah, thank Never you so much. One, DD three. This shit's really a banger, man. Um, I wish you the best. I think your shit's just gonna keep. I mean, already, man, your trajectory is just crazy, and it's gonna keep going, man. It's really, really, really beautiful to see, man. Yeah, we really appreciate you, man. Thanks for coming through, appreciate and you. then uh, we'll come back with hand picks yes, with uh, DJ Stereotype. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Ooh, 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 
motherfucking hand picks. Yo. Uh, no, shit. What? What? Oh, that's me. That's me listening to a little Jesus space. Christ. Uh, yo, we're back at hand picks where we talk about our favorite porn website. Uh, mine is fuq.com. So fuq.com is lame. Out, uh, bookmark that. You want to know why fuq isn't lit? Why? Because when you put your arrow over it, over it, it doesn't show you a, a sample of the. Uh, it doesn't show you, a, like if you like. Um, it's like Netflix, like dude. no, you like, just gotta you gotta watch a little bit, fast forward, be like, oh, that's not like X and videos and Pornhub. If you just wave the mouse mm. over it, it shows you. Like, I like what's being surprised. <laughs> we all got our taste. Sounds like a big uh, waste of time. <laughs> uh, hand picks where we talk about songs that we think y'all should listen to. I'm, um, I'm first, but I want to say something real quick. A uh, little Cyberspace and John Pontiac's in the building. And that's those are two cats you should definitely uh, check out and listen to. Man, really dope. They just music. played Ham, killed it. Yeah, a little Cyberspace just did. We got to get John on it too for sure. Um, cool. You go. For All right, it, my hand pick was uh, Brennan Savage. His record just came out like fucking three days ago. It's super dope. There's a song called Extens- Ex- Ex- Existential with Kill Station. Uh, Brennan Savage is really dope. Y'all should peep him out. Uh, he grew up with Little Peep. And they moved out here together. I don't know if that's true, but they definitely lived together at first. <laughs> and Kill Station also is like when they all lived in that loft, and it was like Ghostman and Ned Arb and all, Little Peep. Kill Station lived there too. And matter of fact, when we first interviewed Little Peep about Crybaby last year or whatever at Dash, Kill Station was with him, but I didn't know who he was at the oh, time. Crazy. But that's someone's name I kept hearing. I feel um, like that happened so much. Like yeah. three months later, we'll be like, oh, you Shit, were here you were the there? whole time? <laughs> yeah. I mean, so Kill Station. Also, he did some shit with XXT on Sean, but I think they might have had a fallout. I don't know. But anyways, it's Brendan Savage with Kill Station. And we have a show Wednesday, and Brendan's playing it. So y'all should check that out. Uh, mine is 94s by uh, Antoine featuring Wicca. I'm not picking it because he took me to Mexico to DJ. And Wicca is uh, playing our show on Wednesday too. Yeah. And mention who produced it. Uh, Fishnark. So Fishnark and Wicca are from uh, Goth Boy Click. And Antoine is super dope. He's been on here twice. I feel like once. Well, once on Dash, whatever. Uh, check him out also on Secret Circles. But this song's super dope. He's on his singing shit. It's super hard. Shout out Antoine. About shoes. It's about shoes. See, it's a love song about Nike, uh, Jordans. It's very. When it's Wicca very... sings about it. Um... Well, if you notice, he doesn't, like, he references some stuff, but he, like, smartly, like, doesn't really, like, go into it. Because I, I remember I read an interview where he says that he he's very good at knowing what he's not a part of, and he doesn't, you know, write, like, lyrics about, like, right. fucking bitches or, like, you know what I mean? I don't know. He's tight. Uh, but, yeah, that song slaps. <laughs> And DJ Stereotype. Yo, uh, my pick is uh, Xavier and Chris Chavez, their new track. Um, this beat's crazy. There's like four producers on it. But really? the, the beat. Who the, produced it? It's, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Lucy, Tweak, Balmain, and FBK. Who the fuck are these people? I don't know. <laughs> but like the beat's crazy because it's like, oh, turn ups. It's going to be like a mosh pit song, of course. You but it's like all four of them made beats. Like, let's just put these together. Maybe. Or like one did one element of it. Yeah. But the beat's like really pretty, but it's like a banger. It's yeah. like a pretty banger. It's 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 crazy. But uh Is it on Chris Travis's tape? Chris Travis put it out on SoundCloud, so it, but Xavier's on it. So we'll see. I don't know what it's coming out on, but it's a I'm excited to hear it's it. It's a banger. Yeah, it's dope. Smoking on it dope. dope. Got it from the show. Uh, yes, you give me dope. Uh, on Fred Bose. Dope. Well, those are the ham picks. Uh, yeah, ham fucking radio. Follow us on Twitter at ham on everything. Yeah, uh, yeah. Adam goes ham. Rumo face. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs>